Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect For You channel. Today, we are going to create Merry Christmas slideshow opener like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, 1920 by 1080. This is our main comp. Then create one more new comp. This is our background comp. Here I have some elements, so drag paper BG image into the timeline. Now go to main comp and drag BG comp into the timeline convert as a 3D layer, and increase size around 120%. Now create one more composition. I call this tree. Now go to elements folder and drag tree image into the timeline. Resize around 120%. Then apply CC Bend It effect. Move start point top side of the comp. And end point bottom side of the comp. Now we need to animate this. So go to first frame and add a key point on bend and change bend amount minus 5. Then go to around 2 seconds forward, and change bend amount plus 5. Here you can see, we need to apply a loop out expression to continue the animation. First ease ease both keyframes, now hold ALT key and click on stopwatch icon, and type loop out expression. Cool. Now drag light image into the timer line, and adjust them. Then again drag glow image into the timer line, and adjust them. Like this. Select glow layer and press T for opacity. And apply wiggle expression. Perfect. Now drag gift one image into the timer line. Rotate the layer, and also resize the layer. And move layer below the light layer. Also add the wiggle expression on rotation. Now select all layer and duplicate them. Move all layers together. Then create a new null layer. Parent these duplicate layers with null layer. Now select null layer and change rotation minus 180 degrees. Here you can see. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag tree comp into the timer line. Also convert the layer as 3D layer. Go to 2 view and move Z position little bit front side on the comp. Now create some snowflakes. So create a new composition. 300 by 300 pixel. 
I call this snow. Drag snow image into the timer line. Press S for scale. Go to one second forward, and add keyframe, then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Now add time expression on rotation. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag snow comp into the timer line. Resize according to you. Now animate the position. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on position. Then go to 9 to 10 seconds forward. And move the snow bottom side of the comp. And adjust the bezier. Now duplicate the layer, select both keyframes, and adjust the snowflake other side. And you can also resize the scale amount. Similarly duplicate the snow layer, 5 to 6 time, and adjust them. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After duplicate the layers, offset the snow layers, Perfect. Now create a new composition. 1300 by 1500 pixels. This is our frame comp. Drag the frame image into the timer line. Now create one more composition. 1800 by 1800 pixels. This is our placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timer line. And resize according to the comp. Now again create a new composition. 1800 by 3000 pixels. I call this media 1. Now drag frame comp into the timer line, and adjust bottom side of the comp. Now select bend tool and create a stroke like this. Move the layer below to frame layer. Now select ellipse tool. Fill color white. And make a circle around frame. Like this. Move the layer below all layers. I call this circle. Now drag placeholder comp into the timer line, and change track mat alpha mat. And resize according to the circle. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag me do one comp into the timer line. Resize according to the comp. 
and move below the tree layer. Also make all layers 3D layers. Now we need to animate the media 1 layer. So select media 1 layer and apply CC bend it effect. Move start point top side of the comp. And end point bottom side of the comp. Now go to first frame and add keyframe on bend, and change bend amount minus 5. Then go to 1 and half second forward, and change bend amount plus 5. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And also apply the loop out expression. Cool. Now animate the scale. Go to around 15 frame forward and add a keyframe. And also move the anchor point top side of the media comp. Then go to first frame and change amount 0%. Here I have bounds script, so copy the script. Hold Alt key, click on stopwatch, and paste it here. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need to add some Christmas ball, so create a new comp. 500 by 1200 pixels. I call this ball 1. Drag ball 1 image into the timer line. Move the anchor point top side of the comp. Press S for scale. Go to around 20 frame forward. And add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Again copy bounce script, and paste it here. Now select ball layer and apply CC bend it effect. Move start point top side of the comp, and end point bottom side of the comp. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on bend, and bend amount minus 5, then go to 1 second forward, and change amount plus 5. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And apply a loop out expression. Perfect. Now go to main comp and drag ball 1 comp into the timer line. And adjust left side of the comp. And also move the layer below to tree layer. And turn on 3D icon. We need to move the Z position, front of the placeholder. Also offset the layer few frame forward. We need to add multiple Christmas balls, so duplicate the ball one layer, and move above all layers, and adjust ball other side of the comp. Now go to project window, and duplicate ball one comp. Now go to timeline and select duplicate ball 1 layer, then drag ball 2 comp from project window. 
It will replace ball 1 with ball 2. Now open ball 2 comp. Select ball 1 image layer, then drag ball 2 image from project window, it will replace ball 1 image with ball 2 image. Cool. We need to add Christmas ball 4 to 5 time, so again duplicate ball 2 layer, and replace with ball 3. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After added all Christmas ball. Here you can see. Now we need to add our text, so create a new comp 1920 by 1080 pixels. I call this text 1. Select Ben tool and type your text. Open text layer. Go to animate, and add scale. Opacity. And blur. Scale amount 250%. Opacity 0%. Blur 100. Then open range selector. Then advanced, change shape ramp up. Now go to first frame and add a keyframe on offset. Offset amount minus 100%. Then go to 2 seconds forward. And change offset amount plus 100%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Now duplicate the layer and change your text. Cool. Now create one more composition. I call this gold texture. Now drag gold texture image into the timer line. Resize little bit. Now go to first frame press P for position, and add a keyframe. And move the image left side of the comp, then go to 10 seconds forward, and move the image right side of the comp. Now go to main comp and create one more composition. I call this text pre-comp. Now drag text 1, and gold texture comp into the timer line. And change gold texture layer track matte alpha matte. Here you can see. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag text pre-comp into the timer line. Adjust right side of the comp. Now apply drop shadow effect. Opacity 25%. Distance 15. And softness 40. Now duplicate text pre-comp layer. And delete drop shadow effect. Search glow effect. Glow threshold around 80%. Glow radius 100. And glow intensity 0.5. You can adjust these amount according to you. Now search bevel alpha effect. And increase edge thickness 4. Now again duplicate the layer and delete both effects. And search CC Particle System 2 effect. Open Particle. Physics and Producer. Increase Radius X and Y 50. Animation Jet Sideways. 
Velocity 2.5 Gravity point 1 Resistance 25 Particle type shaded sphere Birth and death size point 0 0.05 Here you can see we need to change the color according to our text color. Also turn on source alpha inheritance. Change longevity 1. Now animate the birth rate, go to 1 second forward, and add a keyframe on birth, and change amount 150. Then go to 2 frame forward, and change birth rate 0. Now change layer mode add. Here you can see. Also duplicate the layer. Perfect. I think we need to increase the longevity too. Cool. Select all text layer and turn on 3D icon. Select all Christmas ball and media layer and turn on motion blur. Perfect. Now create a new camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Open camera option and increase focus distance 1700 pixels. So our comp look more clear. Now press P for position, go to 2 seconds forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and move Z position close to the camera. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Now select all layers except tree and BG layer. And move one second forward. Perfect. Now drag snow footage into the timer line. And change layer mode screen. Now create a new solid layer. Fill color white. I call this fade out. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity, then go to one second forward, and change opacity 0%.
select all layers and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1 comp. Now create a new black solid layer. Double click on ellipse tool to create ellipse mask. Check inverted, and increase mask feather. And change layer opacity 35%. Then create a new adjustment layer. Create a ellipse mask. Check inverted. Now search fast blur effect. Increase blur radius 4. And check repeat edge pixels. Also increase the mask feather. Now search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Now drag light leak footage into the timer line, and change layer mode screen. Perfect, our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.